Hello, everybody. Like you said, my name is Chef Nate Brown. Um, I'd like to welcome everybody to the men's health fair that the Alphas put on. Right now, we're going to get ready to get right into it. Today, what I'm going to make is a caramelized salmon with a shoyu glaze. A shoyu is a fancy word for uh, soy sauce. Um, and also with just some sauteed uh, broccoli and cauliflower. The reason I picked this is because salmon, broccoli, and cauliflower are just a few things that are good for the prostate gland. And as men, this is, I mean, this is just my joke. To me, the prostate gland is the most important gland in, in the man's body. All right, we need that for our manhood, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna get ready, go ahead and get started. Uh, first, I got my salmon right here. We're gonna make a marinade, okay? The marinade starts with a cup of orange juice, We got peppercorns and a little bit of fresh ginger. Fresh cilantro. cilantro. And you just throw it all in. And I heard somebody say that they was taking notes. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> this kind of like a little secret recipe for me. So. That's why, uh, yeah, you, you keep that in, all right? So basically all we're gonna do is throw our top on and just liquefy it. Okay, and for the purposes of this demo, we're gonna go through this quick, but what you're supposed to do is let this marinate for two hours at room temperature. And I know, you know, it's a lot of, you know, you hear a lot of talk about not leaving fish out, you know, for a certain amount of time. But from the time, I bought this fresh, okay? But from the time it comes out of the refrigerator, from the time until you put it in your mouth, you have really four hours. So two hours at room temperature soaking in this is fine because the orange juice is an acid and it won't allow, you know, bad things to start happening to it. We just leave it at that, okay? So. We got that marinating. Remember I said it's supposed to marinate two hours, but we're gonna speed it up. The stuff I'm gonna let y'all try, I'll let it marinate for two hours, okay? <laughs> in your pan, you go in with a little bit of peanut oil. You just wanna be able to coat the saute pan a little bit, okay? If you're allergic to peanut oil, you can uh, substitute with veg vegetable oil. This just adds a different flavor. Is anybody allergic to peanut oil? Okay, good. I don't want anybody getting sick trying to blame me, all right? <laughs> okay, so next, what we're gonna do, see it's fresh, it's still nice and pink, all right? That's a sign of fresh salmon. When it starts to turn yellow and stuff like that, don't mess with it. All we're doing is coating both sides with sugar. And that's what's gonna give it that caramelization. I always talk about the sizzle when you throw something in the pan. That's my favorite part of cooking, that initial sizzle. So we're just gonna cook it about two minutes on each side and just let it caramelize a little bit. Other ingredients we got is Grand Marier. A couple of the people came around and was, you know, talking about this. This is a, a orange cognac, okay? I haven't personally, you know, tasted it, tried to drink it, but it's good in here. And uh, it smells good, too. <laughs> yeah, it smells real good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I won't call any names about who was coming up here talking about it. <laughs> but I will say Ron was one of them. <laughs> Okay, so we flip it. Right after you flip it, you can go right in with, for this one, you're looking at about two tablespoons of the soy sauce. Grand Marie. Nice. <laughs> nice, like you said. You let that go, then you just sprinkle sugar around. And we're just gonna let that take its time and cook. saw a man by the name of uh, G. Garvin on TV, 
and it was his third episode. I did my research. It was his third episode. Uh, he made a casserole. It was a sweet potato and apple casserole. I saw it and what caught my attention is his time piece that he had on his wrist. And you know, I like watches. So I'm flipping through the channels, TV one. You know, I just kind of flipped by, saw his watch. I'm like, wow, you know, who is this dude? So I flipped back to it and I started watching him. And he just had this enthusiasm. He was having fun. He was just, you know, working the kitchen, doing his thing. And, uh, you know, I was like, man, I like that. So I watched a couple more episodes and uh, decided I would start experimenting on some friends and family because I'm a old construction worker. So decided I would experiment on some friends and family. So I did that a few times secretly and they didn't even know I made it. You know, I acted like my wife made it. So I did it, they loved it. So, you know, I talked to my wife, told her I was just gonna give up construction and go into culinary arts. And that's what I did and that brings me to this day. Next, we're gonna move on to our vegetables. Just do a little small bit. Now, vegetables, what a lot of people do is they overcook them and you're cooking all the nutritional value out of it. So a lot of us, I know I grew up on the dark green beans that you know you get out the can, that stuff, you know, you might as well go chew, out, chew on a piece of a tree, all right? It's not doing anything for you. What you do is you get the fresh vegetables. For this, what I'm gonna do is saute it, but first I'm gonna blanch it. And blanching is just dropping it in boiling water that I already got going, we go in with a little bit of salt. And for this, because it's kind of fragile, I'm just gonna blanch it for about 15 seconds and then go right into my saute pan. If you're doing green beans or any other type of vegetable, you can really blanch for about 45 seconds, okay? When it comes out, it should still be a bright color, okay? That's how you know you still got all your nutrition in there. Get that baby to light. Okay, now. I don't know if anybody was paying attention. I dropped a little bit of kosher salt in. It's good to boil your vegetables in kosher salt. That also helps keep the flavor in it. Uh, keeps all the nutritional vitamins that you need up in there. Why am I using them? Because I got my bare hands. He asked, why am I using the tongs? I got my bare hands. Uh, in cooking, uh, if you're not wearing gloves, it's always good to use utensils because even though I just went and washed my hands, I mean, you never know what could have happened. On my, you know, I could have picked up something from the bathroom to here. So it's always good to use different utensils or gloves. I personally don't like gloves, so I just, you know, use all my little utensils. So I, was, I let 